How could anyone hate Star Wars, one of the most popular and arguably most important pieces of science fiction that still holds up even 30 years later? However, the creator of Star Wars, on the other hand, George I Like to Ruin Everything Lucas, is widely hated for two main reasons. One, he made the Abomination prequel Star Wars movies, and two, he went back and f***ed about with a perfectly fine original trilogy by adding in unnecessary, really bad looking CG scenes. So let's start with the prequels, which was a time for George Lucas to take the helm directing once again, which he had not actually done since the original Star Wars film. He had full control over every little thing that happened in the prequel films, and it's probably why they turned out such abominations. No one had the balls to go up to him and just say, what the f*** are you doing? I fear to think what the original trilogy would have been like if he'd had the same amount of control that he had over the prequels. Right, now let's quickly run through each prequel film and briefly describe why I think they're awful. Star Wars Episode 1 The Phantom Menace, one of the most hyped films ever, and it was awful. Terrible script, too much CG, completely boring, too long, awful acting, whole scenes that make the original trilogy make no sense. And don't you dare say, oh, the pod racing bit was really good though. No, it only stood out as being good because it was something actually happening in the film. Episode 2, Attack of the Clones, sequel to one of the most awful films ever. Also boasts a terrible script, too much needless CG, is completely boring, is too long, has awful acting, and completely ruins characters from the original trilogy. Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, terrible sequel to the awful sequel that was a sequel to one of the worst prequel movies ever made. And you guessed it, terrible script, too much CG, completely boring, too long, awful acting, and completely contradicts most of the things that happen in the original trilogy. It's almost like Lucas just didn't give a sh**. Oh wait, he obviously didn't. He completely lost the skill of how to work with actors and focused way more on shoving references in like, hey look, it's Yoda flinging around with a lightsaber, isn't that cool? Hey look, it's C-3PO and R2-D2 really badly thrown into these pointless action scenes. Hey look, it's the worst line in cinematic history. The charm and authenticity was just completely lost. The humor was forced, awful and badly written. Nothing worked. And unlike the effects in the original trilogy, the CG just doesn't hold up now. It all looks too fake and clean. Now I know some people actually do like the prequels amazingly, and while I don't understand it myself, what I will say is that if you took the title of Star Wars away from the prequels, they would be just some pretty mediocre space opera films with some cool action scenes here and there. But the fact that we're supposed to believe that these are in the same universe as the beloved original trilogy is what drives me crazy. And as if that wasn't bad enough, Lucas just had to go and mess with the original films. Hey, let's take all the original films and add loads of pointless CG and then make the original versions unavailable so fans literally have no choice but to put up with all this These CG versions of the original films have actually spawned one of the worst shots I've ever seen in a film, and I've seen quite a lot of films. Take a look at the original scene from this film. Simple and to the point. Now look at this special edition bullshit version. He decided that putting some kind of creature right in front of the camera would add something to it. No. First off, the CG is terrible. It is completely distracting. And how are we even supposed to know what it is? So a kite man. What do you think of George Lucas? Well, I think he is a- Okay, now Aquaman. Huh? <coughs> oh sh**. Did you really need to kill him? Whatever, the pr**k deserved it.